Hello everyone, welcome to Whisper the Mystery. A very warm welcome to all the new subscribers and all the existing subscribers. Thank you so much for your constant love and support. So today we're going to look into what your next lover is going to be like. And we're also going to look into whether is this someone you already know or is it someone new? And for that, we'll be using this pendulum. All right. As you can see, there are three piles here. This is the first pile, the butterfly pile, the second pile, the elephant pile, and the third pile, the hat pile. So please take a moment and use your intuition to choose the pile. You could also pause the video to meditate on the cards. And if you're ready, let's move with the first pile, the butterfly pile. Welcome pile one, all those who've chosen the butterfly pile. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. So today we're going to look into what your next lover is going to be like. And at the end of the reading, we'll be using this pendulum to let us know if do you already know this person or is it going to be a brand new person. All right. So we're going to start with the tarot cards first and see what do we have. Put it here. Okay, so first we have the Six of Swords. Okay, then we have the Ace of Coins. Okay, the Three of Swords. We have the Hangman. King of Wands, Ace of Wands, King of Rods, space here, and an image. Okay, number 25. Right, I hope you can see all the cards here. Bring this a little bit. Yeah. Okay, and now I'll just tune into the energy. All right, pile one. So, your next lover, how are they going to be like? Now, we have a lot of fire here. As you can see, we have the King of Wands, Ace of Wands, and King of Wands. So, your person could be of a fire sign, or there's a lot of fire element in the chart. We also have your two cards represented by sword and one earth sign. Okay, but I'm getting very drawn here to the fire energy. We have two king of wands here, which definitely means something. Okay, it's a very significant meaning here. And it's just making me feel that your person is going to be extremely, uh, extremely charismatic. Okay, and with the meaning of the king is someone who has gone through so much, who have gone through their own experiences in life. Um, that's the reason why they are a king now, okay? So it's not someone who is at the beginning of their stage. But this also makes me feel that your person probably also have had various experiences in relationships. They might have had various connections, okay, before being in a connection with you here. And they could be, like I said, they are very charismatic, so they are very experienced and they know exactly how to woo a person, all right? So when they're approaching towards you, they would know the right thing to say, the right thing to do. They just know it all, right? And I feel here yeah, that this person would be approaching towards you. It would not be you going towards them. I feel here yeah, that this person is going to lay their eyes on you, is going to get so attracted towards you, as you can see here. And here they're going to make this move towards you. Right. And there could be someone as well who is very matured in their looks. And with the people looking over here, it seems that someone, well, if you're thinking about a male, there could be someone who also has this beard around them. OK. And I'm also getting drawn to this to somehow who is extremely, completely clean shaved over here. But it could be someone again who in their past you know, used to like keeping a clean shave. But recently, as time has gone by, as they have matured, they kind of love having this beard on the face, all right? Now, if you're a guy looking into this, then I don't assume your woman would have a beard, right? 
but it would be someone who is very comfortable in their looks, who, you know, love the way they look, they love their hair, they love dressing up, they love all that about themselves, okay? Now, with the Ace of Wands here, like I said, this person is extremely passionate as well, and your sexual energy is going to be so, so intense with three Wands cards over here. Definitely, you're going to have this very... Um, amazing okay physical connection over here and with this ace of wands it's also like this person is going to seem to be very um they seem to be very bold okay i don't think they're going to be like a very shy person they're going to be someone who is so um ready to take the next steps to be very courageous here and they always stand by it okay they're really not afraid at all so this is someone you're looking into who is extremely bold and courageous over here okay but like i said they could have had um, things in the past where they might have had various connections and various relationships but again this has not stopped them from you know uh, looking for the right person and i feel they are just going to have their eye on you okay we have two aces over here, aces, ace of wands and ace of pentacles. So this person I feel is again a sort of, of um, who likes uh, taking in charge here. Okay, even relation to uh, their work, it seems like they could be someone who very courageously started their own business or who could be in a higher management position who likes, um, well, who is kind of looking after many things or who has a lot of responsibilities because like I said, this person is not afraid of taking responsibilities here. I don't know why I do feel that um, this connection initially could be a little bit complicated because we have here the three of swords where it could be three people involved. So it could be where this person is already with someone. But the moment they look at you and, you know, their eyes fall on you, they just they want you instead. So that could make you kind of stuck in this um you know, connection of being in this um, with a third party connection there. OK, or it could also be that uh, this person has gone through a lot of heartbreak, which, like I said, the first time I do feel they've had their part of connections here. But that could be another thing. But this person has gone through a lot of heartbreaks. But for some of you is this person will make you involved in this type of situation because they are probably already with someone else, but they fall so deeply for you that now they want to be with you, okay? And they have this very, very strong um, emo um, feelings here towards you, which they just can't resist. And they're doing everything they can to be with you, okay? So initially, you might be a bit hesitant, but the way this person is, like I said, they're so good in... Um, um, you know, they know the right things to say, they know the right things to do, that you as well might fall here for the person and then this person here would need to make choices, okay? But they are very, they would be very, very attracted here towards you. Now, with this Ace of Pentacles also makes me feel where in the past, if this person has not been very serious about any connections or about relationships, when they look at you, they know, they know that you are the one. They know that you would be the one with whom they would want to have this stable connection with. So um, again, if they are with someone else and they need to make the choice, I feel that they'll be so inclined towards you. They want to have this passionate new beginning here with you because they feel the stability with you over here. Okay, and now let's see here. With the Six of Swords, okay, um, it makes me feel that for some of you, this person probably would not be from the same place where you are. So maybe you meet them somewhere and you're from different places, you're from different states, different countries altogether. Okay, so I do feel that um, that sort of thing over here where you are together, but at the same time, you kind of have this distance here between you, but they want to be with you. They so want to be with you. They're so attracted here towards you. I also see them coming or traveling towards you quite a lot. With the King of Rods here, I feel that this person is coming, sending you messages. And again, you're they're making this move towards you. Okay, so they, um, yeah, I do feel there's a lot of travel here involved. With the Hangman, it's possible that 
this is the condition or the situation this person is at the moment, okay? So they could be stuck uh, with a person with whom they don't want to be or they could be stuck in a job where they don't want to be. There is a particular situation in their life where they are stuck with at the moment, but the moment they see you, okay, or the moment they come towards you, I feel that they are going to break free from this hangman situation and all the fire within them is just going to have this, you know, major outburst where they will just know what to do, okay? And now with this card here, okay, let's have a look. This seems to me like a card of freedom over here, okay? I feel that this person wants to be free. This person wants to get free of whatever situation they are in at the moment, right? And yeah, they just want to be free and just fly here towards you, okay? We're of course going to have a look now whether you already know this person or is it going to be a brand new person here? But I feel that once they lay their eyes on you, okay, Everything in their life is going to change. They're going to come out of the situation they have been stuck in. And it's just going to be like, I feel that whatever situation they are in right now, they're probably not very happy. And that's why they're kind of, you know, a little bit serious. But the moment they are with you or the moment they get in touch with you, they're going to start smiling again. They're going to start feeling so, you know, um, like a boy or like a girl again. That sort of feeling and emotion. That's how probably they'll start even... Um, you know, changing their appearance or dressing up. And yeah, it's just going to feel like this person is reversing back, okay? And of course, if they're really, really young, um, it could also be that they want freedom from all the restrictions which they have at the moment here. But definitely someone who is very bold, very courageous. Okay, I want to have a look also, I don't know why, at... Um, if you both do come together, once you both do come together, what's your romantic relationship going to be like? I'll just pick up a card for that. So what's your connection relationship is going to be like when you come together with this person? Sorry, I don't want to shuffle in the front. It's just going to spoil it. <laughs> okay, right. So we have here... Six of Wands, the Seven of Wands, and Two of Cups. That is so beautiful. Okay, again, with Six of Wands here, again, I do feel it's a card of travel. So you and this person probably would be traveling towards each other. Or you could also be, again, there's a train over here with the Seven of Wands. So it could be like initially you could both be in a long distance connection or relationship here and you probably would be meeting each other quite often, going away on holidays or just having this, you know, constant communication with each other here. OK, and I feel here with this cage, I don't know if you can see, there is like um, this woman here. Is, sorry for that. Don't have to make camera. So this woman here is holding um, this cage and kind of freeing the bird. So I feel that's how it's going to be. This person is going to feel so free with you and so would you. Okay, you both would be feeling this amazing freedom with each other. And with two of cups, what else could I say? Two of cups is two people here. Okay, intense love, intense emotion. You both are going to have this intense. We have so many wand cards over here, which is going to be so fiery. It's like you just can't get off each other. You know, everywhere, it's like the two of you. You won't be able to get your eyes off each other. And it's just you want to be this constant, you know, constantly in touch with each other, even physically just so attracted here towards each other. And I feel as the two of you who'll always try to, you know, dress up well, to get ready just to meet this person. Because there is such a strong attraction here between the two of you. It's immensely crazy. Okay. So we're going to look now whether um, this person, okay, do you already know them or is it a new person? So with this pendulum, we're going to look into a pendulum and see uh, which position would be a yes. Okay, the anti-clockwise. And which position is going to be a no? Okay, the clockwise. So now we're going to ask the angels to please guide us whether, do you already know this person? Okay. 
Okay, that's a no. So it's going to be a brand new person. So ask, is this going to be a brand new person? Yes. All right. Okay, pile one. It's going to be a brand new person. Okay, I really hope you liked this reading. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I am offering personal readings at the moment. If you'd like to request one, you can find my details in the description below. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Welcome, pile two, all those who've chosen the elephant pile. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. So we're now going to look into what your next lover is going to be like. And at the end of the reading, we'll be using this pendulum to let us know whether do you already know this person or is it a brand new person all right so what do we have here put the elephant here okay so we have here the ten of coins king of cups Three of Swords, Five of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, okay, and this is an image card. All right, pal two, I hope you can see all this and I'll just tune into the energy. Okay, pal two, so what your next lover is going to be like. Now, we have a lot of um, earth energy over here with the queen, six of pentacles and ten of pentacles. So your person could be an earth sign or there's a lot of earth energy in the chart. And we also have here a lot of swords energy, which is the knight, the three of swords, the five of swords and one cup energy over here all right so with the ten of pentacles and queen of pentacles making me feel that your person could be someone who is very financially abundant okay um financially it's something which um is very finances basically something very important for them this stability is something which makes them feel really strong and really empowers them in a lot of ways um this person could also be self-employed entrepreneur or they could be having their own family business. Okay, but it is something which they are very proud of and they have grown it quite a lot. So that's the reason as well why, of course, they feel so um, abundant because it's through the hard work here, okay, with which they are finding and they're seeing all the success. With the Queen of Pentacles is... Um, like I said, it makes me feel that this person is um, has worked really hard to come into a position where they are right now. They could also be the king of pentacles here. But I feel that wherever they are right now or whatever they have accomplished so far, they are extremely proud of it. Okay, And they want to grow some more, no doubt. But they are very proud as well um, in the situation which they are in currently. Okay, and the Ten of Pentacles, again, they are, they have this beautiful home, they have everything going well for them. This is all financially, okay, which is happening. With the Six of Pentacles, it also like this person could be very, very generous, okay, because they know that no matter how much they give, they're still going to have so much left within them. Okay, and what of course they've accomplished, no one can take it away. So because of some reasons like this, they are quite... Um, you know, they are quite generous in their own ways. Uh, but again, it's also like this person thinks a lot. So before taking any step, they could be very, very slow in taking the next move. That is also another reason why they don't want to jump from queen to being the king. Okay, because they know it's a long process and they want to take the right move and go to the next step. Okay, this is like extremely important for them. Now, this also comes towards... Uh, situations in connection and in relationships where they would be thinking a lot 
okay they would be thinking a lot before approaching the person before saying the right thing because they want to make sure they're saying the right thing at the right time they're doing the right thing at the right time this is so important to them but when it comes to the connections as well they are extremely generous okay so they'll be showering you with so many gifts with so much love it's just because they know it's how much ever they give that's going to be less okay and again they're not going to run out of it you know so it's not just pouring you with all the gifts but it's also showering you with so much of love here all right then we have it the three of swords knight of swords and five of swords now we also have here so many energies here represented by the swords so with this five of swords i feel that uh, this person probably feels that there is a lot of competition here for you okay and I know we've not gone to the pendulum yet to see if, you know, um, you already know this person or not, but I feel that this person already knows you, okay, and they've they've already like kind of given their heart to you here, it seems, and I feel that their heart has been broken here quite, uh, quite badly, probably, is maybe they've seen you with someone else, okay, or maybe for some of you, this person has expressed it in a certain way, but you've not probably understood their gesture, or for some of you, you could have also put this person down, all right, and because that's the sort of energy I'm getting here, because with the five of swords, is there is a lot of inner conflict here within the person, so they are quite slow anyways in expressing themselves, so in the meantime, while they're seeing you with someone else, or, um, you know, or whether you are currently in with someone else or in the past as well where they've seen you with someone else it's really hurt them a lot with the knight of swords here is this person here is very protective about their feelings okay with the king of cups they are very emotional they have a lot of emotions within them okay but they find it very difficult here to express it because they're so um scared of getting hurt okay and being in an energy of feeling hurt here but yeah, I do feel that because it's a card of next lovers, it could be, of course, where, you know, some of you could be giving this person a chance there of, you know, being in a relationship with them. It could be um, where maybe you're not sure about this person or maybe you, you don't feel that because you're not able to see their um, emotional side. They've not been expressing it. The only thing what they show is their materialistic side. OK, so there could be someone wearing nice clothes or coming in a flashy car, that sort of situation. And it could not be where this person is really expressing their emotions, okay? So that's the reason why probably you could have been hesitant or you would be hesitant in telling this person yes or in approaching this person. But this person has so much of emotions within them. It's just they don't know how to express it in the right way. They find it so difficult and they keep themselves completely guarded, okay? So if it is someone whom you already know, like I said, I do feel that this person has felt threatened where there were other people around around you who were like you know who were more, had more potential and their heart could have been broken here but if it's a new person it could be someone then who has had their heart broken okay and who probably could have had faced this type of situation where maybe they were not always the first choice for someone and they're so guarded here with their emotions okay and yeah, me, I think this person could be lacking a little bit of self-confidence over here. With this card here of 40, um, here 47, okay, it's, it seems that this person would be very protective about you, okay, and yeah, they'll be so protective about you that they don't want you to be, um, to get hurt either emotionally or to have feel the lack of anything in life they'll be protecting you completely so this is someone who will have just so much of deep emotions for you but the only thing i feel is they're not able to express it in the right way they'll probably express it by giving you gifts okay by you know showering you with materialistic things but they don't know how to express it to you emotionally or in a very you know exciting way that sort of but they have such deep emotions for you they just don't want to see you hurt they don't want to see you you know have the lack of anything 
And also makes me feel for some of you where if you have gone through heartbreak here, I feel this person here wants to heal you. They want to give you all that love which they feel you deserve, okay, and to shower you. And I feel that for some of you where this new lover would be entering your life, they are going to be like this healing or this healer here for you in a particular way. You are going to take some time if some of you Ha, you know, are currently going through some sort of um, an emotional pain here or some heartbreak over here. I feel that when you get in touch with this person, this person would be like a healer in your life. Okay, uh, let's also look into that if you do come into a connection or relationship with this um, new lover, what's the relationship going to be like? I'll shuffle the cards here behind the scenes so it doesn't mess up the um, this arrangement. Okay, so we have here the Seven of Wands. Oops. Okay, um, the Four of Pentacles. And I'm going to bring up one more card. That's my deck on. Right. And then we have here the two of pentacles. Okay, so this makes me feel like I said this person is all about the pentacles. They're all about, you know, showering you with materialistic things, taking you out. There is a lot of, you know, um, an earthy thing, but you are looking for something deeper, I feel. So I do feel that um, you are going to kind of transform this person a little bit where, you know, you're going to show them the excitement in life. You're going to show them to start taking risks in life, okay? And maybe if you are a bit on that wild side, to show them how to be a little bit more wild because they are probably someone who, you know, takes steps very strategically or they think a lot before taking the next move. And like I said, they'll be showering you with all this materialistic stuff. But here you are, okay, who will be showing them how to be more passionate, okay, how to just live life more freely without thinking about the next step or the next move or the next day here. So I feel there's a lot more where you will be showing them in a nice way, where if you are giving a gift, how do you give it in a very romantic way? So yeah, there's a lot of teaching here, I feel, where you will be doing to this person. So this person, no doubt, would be healing you emotionally, but I feel that how to, you know, carry on with a relationship, you'll be boosting a lot of their self-confidence and showing them how to be like a better lover. Okay, so we're now going to look into if you already know this person or not. So we're going to ask the pendulum to show us, okay, which direction would be a yes, which direction would be a yes, which is the anti-clockwise, and which direction would be a no, that would be the clockwise. Okay, so angels, please guide and tell us if... Oldest of Chosen, pal number two, do they already know this lover? Okay, it seems like you already know. Let's ask as well, is it going to be a brand new lover? No, okay, so it's either someone whom you already know or someone from your past here. Okay, if you already know someone, of course, with this type of nature or characteristics, you probably, you know, something in you would, um, kind of ring or it's going to be like an alarm bell right but I really hope you've resonated with this pal too if you did please don't forget to share like and subscribe and I am offering personal readings at the moment if you'd like to request one you can find my details below thank you so much goodbye welcome pal tree all those who've chosen the hat pal it's an honor for me to do a reading for you today so today we're going to look into what your next lover is going to be like. And at the end of the reading, we're also going to use this pendulum, which will tell us if, is this a new person or is this going to be a new person entering your life? All right. So what do we have here for you? We have here the judgment. The magician. Six of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Cups, the High Priest, OK, 
Okay, we have the Ten of Swords. And last is an image. Right, I hope you can see all the cards. Let's go over here. Okay, and I'll just tune into the energy. All right, pile three. So um, with the first two piles, of course, it came up very strongly here with some of the signs. But for you as well, we kind of are coming up here with mostly two signs. So we have like two swords energy here and one um, water energy. Okay. So um, we have here four major arcanas, Wheel of Fortune, Judgment, Magician and High Priest. So I feel that this person here, your next lover is someone who's going to be very, very significant person in your life. Okay. It's going to... Um, your life is going to change completely. It's going to transform completely here when you meet your next lover. With the high priest, it also feels like this person or your next lover could also be your future spouse. You could also land up marrying this person over here. That's how strong this connection could be. Okay, so let's start here first with the eight of cups. Okay, so it's going to be a beautiful connection, beautiful relationship here between the two of you. Now, this is going to be more from your person's perspective because it's like, you know, how's your next lover going to be like? So your person is going to have so much of emotions here for you. It's going to be like true love from your person's side. Okay, it's just an immense flow of emotions towards you. Um, of course, it's not necessary that you will be this person's first love, but it seems here that you could be this person's first true love, okay? And that's the reason why this person would be feel very emotionally connected here towards you. I do feel that your connection, though, would be going through a lot of ups and downs because we also have here the Wheel of Fortune. This seems to be a very strong spiritual connection here between the two of you. So it's a lot of ups and downs here especially with the Wheel of Fortunes, where at times you both would be feeling this immense happiness with each other. But at the same time, it's going to be immensely painful as well with the Ten of Swords card over here. All right. So um, yes, for you or for this person as well, you are going to be the first true love. Okay. And with the Wheel of Fortune, is their life is going to turn upside down. We also have here this card image, which shows another wheel over here. Let me try showing this to you. Okay, so it's going to be like another wheel over here. And this person is going to be, they would want to just take away all your pain and shower you with so much of love. That's the type of emotion they have here towards you is they feel like carrying all the burden, all your burden on their shoulders, regardless of what is it. Okay, so whatever problems or difficulties you are going through at the moment, they would just want to take away all of that and just take everything on their shoulder. But they don't want to see you in any sort of pain. They just want you to be comfortable. Okay, they just want you to be happy. That's the type of person they would be. Okay, with the magician card, they feel that they would feel like they can do anything for you. Okay, so if you want someone who is, you know, financially extremely good, they would work very hard to be financially abundant. If you want someone who is very intelligent, they'll probably do, you know, um, have those type of conversations with you. If you want someone who's very emotional, they would have this emotional um, communication with you. And if you want someone with immense, you know, um, attractiveness, immense sexual energy, they'll also approach you in that way. So they are going to be like this complete, complete uh, person there for you, okay, who will have everything for you the way you want and how you want it, okay? They just want to be there for you all the time and have this, like I said, carry this immense, um, you know, uh, everything, all your burdens on the shoulder, okay? And I don't know if you can see as well over here, is there are two roses over here. Okay, so this definitely makes me feel that you both are going to be so connected here to each other and it's definitely going to be a very deep love here. With the judgment card, okay, it, um, it's like I say, I feel that this connection somehow is not easy, okay? It's something like where they'll have to face a lot of situations or you both will have to face many situations or many people over here. 
and maybe for them that's slightly um, that would be slightly difficult okay but it seems to be a very um, soulful connection here between the two of you with the ten of swords is um, there is something which is tying this person down okay they want to break free from everything but there is something which is tying this person down and I feel that they've gone through um, a lot throughout their life, okay? So it could be someone who has so many scars in their life. So since their childhood, probably they've been seeing so many situations, but that has not, okay? That has not broken them down. They're still standing here so strong, okay? They're still standing here that, you know, come on life, throw at me whatever situation you want, and I'm going to come out stronger than ever, okay? That's the type of energy which is coming from this person. So they are very, very um, headstrong, okay? I also feel here that, you know, from the physique point of view, this could be someone who has more like an athletic fati fatigue, no, <laughs> physique, sorry, okay? And who could also be someone who likes working out, who keeps themselves physically active because they see here someone who is very physically strong over here. So they seem to be physically and emotionally quite strong with a high priest as well. This person could be um, very... Um, balanced okay and for some of them they could also be very religious or very spiritual over there okay and that's the reason why once they've given their heart to you they just find this connection to be so pure and so soulful okay that they'll do anything to work on this connection over here and to make this into a reality and into a union okay but yeah there is definitely a lot of ups and downs here in this connection with the Six of cords, um, Swords, there'll be so many things there which is, you know, running in this person's mind on how to make it work. Because like I feel it's not easy, but this person would be working on this connection. They're not going to give up on you. They're not going to, you know, once they've given their heart to you, okay, they're not just going to run away from the situation no matter how difficult it is. They'll be thinking of various ways and various um options on how to make things work, how to reach you, okay, how to remove the sword here one by one, even though if it takes time, they are going to do it, okay, but you just mean so much to them, or you would mean here so much to them, okay. Um, let's also have a look that if you both do come into a relationship, or when you both do come into a relationship, what's your relationship or connection going to be like? I know this one I've been talking a lot more about the emotions and probably less about the type of person they are. But I just feel that when you do meet a person, you're not going to find important of what they do, who they are. It's just the instant connection which you're going to feel with them. Everything else is just going to drop. Okay, so I feel here that you probably don't want to know the type of um, career they are, they are in. Because when you talk to them, it's just... A completely different feeling here and like I said they have everything within them they feel like a complete person here okay but you are just going to be so interested in who they truly are from deep within okay I feel that you are going to see all the scars inside them that's how close you are going to be to this person okay so let's see what your connection is going to be like oops many cards falling there <laughs> all right I'll just shuffle them again, see what your relationship with this person is going to be like. Wow, there's a lot of energy here, a lot. Okay, so we have here five of wands. Eight of wands. Two of swords and eight of coins. Right. right, so it feels that this person is not going to be shy to approach you as well when you are, you know, with your friends or when you're with your family, okay? They're still going to come and have this romantic gesture towards you. And even you are going to be feel, you're going to feel so open to make, you know, that romantic gesture towards them. So it's a, beautiful bond there between the two of you where you both are not shy to express your uh, you know emotion and affection towards each other there's also going to be a lot of public display over here okay or a lot of PDA 
And so, yeah, it's um, wonderful where you both are there expressing your love to each other, expressing this connection towards each other. But with the Two of Swords, I also feel like a decision would need to be made. Like I felt that there is a lot of ups and downs here. And this could be a period as well, which you both would need to go through in order to be um, together here. Okay, In order to be in this beautiful union over there, which is, um, again, I feel that it's divinely guided. Okay, And that's the reason why probably you will need to go through certain situations there to be together with each other. Okay, and with the heart and with the swords here, so it's like you both would be going through the same emotions and same feelings. It's not just one of you who would be experiencing it. It would be the two of you who will be experiencing the things together here. Yeah? Okay, I don't know if you can see, it's quite interesting here, where here he's approaching you and you're, you're approaching him. Selected, it's quite, you know, um, mutual between the two of you and everything is just going to be so, um, so... Um, can't really say much in words here, but like I say, it is divinely guided. So you are going to feel like you are mirroring each other, okay? And don't think that, you know, when a particular situation comes up, it's just you who has feelings and not this person because it's both sides, it's both ways, okay? You both have your own way of feeling and expressing the same situation in two different ways, all right? And we're now going to look into if do you already know this person or is it a brand new person? So we're going to first ask the pendulum to show us what, which direction is a yes, which direction is a yes, which is the anti-clockwise, and which direction is a no, which is a clockwise. Okay, so angels, please guide and tell us, all those who've chosen pile tree, do they already know this lover? Okay, it seems it's a no. And is it going to be a brand new lover in their life? Okay, that's a yes. Okay, so probably some of you would be, oh, <laughs> some of you there would be meeting this person. Okay, so it could be a brand new person there entering your life. So be ready for this exciting new love there, Pile Tree. I wish you all the best. I really hope you've liked this reading. If you did, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I am offering personal readings at the moment. If you'd like to request one, you can find my details below. Thank you so much. Goodbye.